This small change I'm going to share with you is going to fix the number one problem you have with achieving your goals, staying consistent. Want to be a better writer? You need to write every day. Want to be more fit? You got to work out regularly. When we fail to build good habits, we stop progressing and eventually get off track. But before we can apply this small change, you first need to understand the problem. The reason we fail to build good habits is because we rely too much on willpower. Willpower is a bad solution to consistency. Life is too complex and chaotic. Every day, there are different events that will distract us from our goals, like how I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3 instead of editing this video. Yeah. Having to constantly use willpower to fight these distractions is very tiring for our brains. If you set a vague goal like be more fit or be a better writer and hope that you remember it or feel motivated enough to work on it, you're always going to lose the battle. But what if you apply a small change? What if instead of relying on willpower, you leverage cues instead? Imagine programming our brains just like coding software. When coding software, we set rules for the computer to behave in a certain way. For example, if I press this button, which is a condition, open that file, which is an action. By using the same principle of taking actions when conditions are met, what if we set obvious cues that will trigger us to perform new habits on autopilot? Experts call it implementation intention. Implementation intention is a strategy of pairing a new habit with a specific time and location. The formula for implementation intention is something like this. I will behavior at time in location. Here are some examples. Studying. I will study Spanish for 20 minutes at 6 p.m. in my bedroom. Exercise. I will exercise for one hour at 5 p.m. in my local gym. Writing. I will write for two hours at 9 a.m in my favorite cafe. This way, we won't waste our brain power asking questions like, when should I write my newsletter? Or, I don't feel like working out today. Should I still do it? By having implementation intentions, we replace vague goals with concrete plans. You see, with the guesswork eliminated, we increase our chances of performing the new habits. But you might be wondering, really? That's it? How effective is this? In 2001, researchers in Great Britain worked with 248 people to build better exercise habits over the course of two weeks. The first group was only asked to track how often they exercise. The second group was asked to do the same but were told to read about the benefits of exercise. So they feel motivated. The third group was similar to the second group but were also asked to complete the following sentence. During the next week, I will partake in at least 20 minutes of vigorous exercise on day, at time, in place. The results, 35% to 38% of the first and second group exercise at least once a week. Meanwhile, a staggering 91% of the third group exercise at least once a week. This small change is deceptively powerful. With enough repetition, eventually the new habit becomes second nature that you won't need the cue anymore. Right, the Jason Swig noted. Obviously, you're never going to just work out without conscious thought. But like a dog salivating at a bell, maybe you start to get antsy around the time of day you normally work out. By the way, if you want to start a new habit, but you're really struggling, join my free email course, Habit That. I'll be sending you a step-by-step -step guide across seven days so you can easily start your new habit despite your busy schedule. Or you can choose to unlock all the lessons in one shot. It's up to you. Again, it's completely free. Link in the description below. Okay, here's another implementation intention idea. What if I tell you that your shopping habits can be hacked to create new habits? Have you noticed how sometimes when you buy something new, you end up buying other things to complement it? For example, you buy a new shirt and you end up buying a new pair of jeans too. You buy a new couch and you suddenly question the layout of your living room. You buy a new camera and suddenly you add a tripod, a lens, a wireless mic, and a light to complete your content creation kit. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm guilty of this one. Experts call this phenomenon the Diderot effect. The Diderot effect states that obtaining a new possession often creates spiral consumption which leads you to acquire more new things. Many human behaviors follow the cycle. We often decide what to do next based on what we did previously. For example, washing your hands might remind you to do the dishes and that might lead you to buy a new sponge. James Clear shared an idea called habit stacking. Basically, the strategy of habit stacking is pairing a new habit with an old habit 
to take advantage of all that momentum. The habit stacking formula is something like this. After current habit, I will new habit. Here are some examples. Studying. After I clean the dishes, I will read a book. Exercise. After I brush my teeth in the morning, I will change into my workout clothes. Writing. After I pour my cup of coffee, I will work on my newsletter. Now, before you get excited and implement all these changes, there's a few things to keep in mind for this to work. Number one, finding the right cue might take some experimentation. If you're planning to work out in the morning, for example, but your kids keep interrupting and demanding your attention, it's not going to work. Keep trying different time or location. Number two, consider the frequency of the new habit. If you need to work out every evening after work, but there's a social event every Thursday, you'll either need to skip that or change the timing of your workout. Number three, use a digital scheduling system. I personally set reminders and time block my calendar to make it super obvious when I need to do a new habit. It runs automatically unlike a physical calendar or notebook. So this is a rare example where smartphone technology is on our side. Take advantage of that. But even if you manage to form new habits and stay consistent using these strategies, you still risk getting off track. There are three other things you need to be aware of in order to increase your odds of reaching your goals. Check out this video to learn more.